Um, ironically, uh, my girlfriend is Russian and her parents are Russian, but all the time they listen to Italian music. Yeah. So when we have dinner, we listen to Italian music, so I think I heard the melodies. Yeah. Da, da, da. So now it's, it's all in the album. Oh, yeah. It's an Italian album. An Italian album. Italian? Yeah. yeah. At, least I'm, at least I'm part Italian, so I, I, I guess I can make Italian. Thank you. Or like 60s Italian music, 60s. like uh, like movie music, ah, you know, yeah. all that kind of French Italian, lots of melodies, strings, and so somehow it, in your, it yes. went you in my brain. And then you have your music. Okay, thank you. Well, we look at it as a revolver album, but more as the kind of when you point at your head. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Man, it's in, the, in the other side, yeah. the other side. Every, every side of, we, we hope so. You hope so? We tried to do this. It was not an accident. If you feel this way, we're glad because we feel like we maybe accomplished something good. Uh, this album, unlike the other albums, was written more in the studio. Yeah. And uh, I would get up in the morning and write a song and then we would just go record it. So. It's probably closer to intuition as opposed to let's turn it into a song, let's make it loud, let's make it quiet. It was more close to the original song from what I wrote to then what we recorded. Oh, from the last album? Yes, from the last album. A little bit, but I think we view this as we do every album, a singular kind of statement. The way we look at um, a live concert is um, versus an album would be the difference between looking through a photo album and actually getting to meet somebody. When we play a concert, you get to meet us. When you listen to our albums, it's like looking through our photo albums. Maybe you don't see three-dimensional of everything, but that's just that's, that's, that's the situation. <laughs> you don't see all the pictures, just the best pictures. We don't put the ugly ones in. <laughs> yes, I, I think it would be naive to assume that you don't have an influence upon young people as far as what you say and what you represent. And uh, what we feel we represent is a certain integrity as human beings that supersedes anything that has to do with rock and roll, uh, culture, country, race. Um, I mean, between the three of us, you basically have represented um, you know, James is uh, of, of Japanese uh, descent. Uh, Darcy's of, of Russian, and what's the other side? Danish. Danish. I'm Italian, yeah. Irish, Belgian. Belgian. We're a melting pot. Uh, you yeah. know, uh, we've all experienced bias. Uh, when we first started the band, people would ask Darcy, "What's it like to be a woman?" Now people still don't ask that question anymore. We represent people on a human level, and. We hopefully represent what it means to be yourself, to do what you want to do, but still have a certain sense of dignity and integrity with what you do. Just because we're a big band doesn't mean we have to embarrass ourselves, doesn't mean we have to do things that people want us to do. We don't have to sell out just because there's money involved. There's always going to be someone who's going to do that, and if that's who your heroes are, that's who they can be. But we, we realize that we have an impact on what goes on. Well, that's what we believe in. We believe, you know, our heroes are the Beatles, and the Beatles made albums. So yes. to do anything so less than to make albums is to not is to is to fail in our in our eyes. We don't we don't believe in filler. It's pointless. We would never ask a fan to buy a song of ours that we don't believe in, or that we just put out just to make up an album so that we could sell more albums and singles and whatever. Um, I bought the Goodwill Hunting soundtrack. That's it. Main, the main uh, group or main singer on that's Elliot Smith. He's really good. And uh, the last book I read is uh, Easy Riders and Raging Bulls by uh, Peter Viscon. It's this book about the 70s American film directors. We'll come back to you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, last soundtrack I bought was the Titanic soundtrack, the last movie I saw was Titanic, and the <laughs> last book that I read was The Sinking of the Titanic. Ditto. This one.
Um, we're the ultimate consumers. Will they? Mm-hmm. We're, we're the ones that they're trying to draw in. We represent everything that we hate. That's how we know it so well. <laughs> We're trying very hard to reinterpret the music so that um, Obviously, people haven't gotten to hear the album yet, but, but what we're trying to do is uh, play uh, almost spontaneous and interpretive versions of the song so that the performances will be different with each concert and the spirit of the album will continue through the concerts, uh, spirit of openness, so that we don't run into the same problem where we're just like a monkey on a string, you know, that gets, you know, you give it, you give it a little money and then we kind of wind up and do our little act. We're trying to make sure that we continue the art aspect of what we're trying to do in everything that we do. Right. No, uh, no, no, ta- no tapes, and we're using, uh, we're being augmented by more musicians. Two, two extra percussion players and a keyboard player. We've hired better musicians than ourselves <laughs> to disguise our inability to play. Catering uh, manager. That's all I know. And uh, also, I wanna, I wanna know if in your project, when you begin, mm-hmm. um, you, you, uh, uh, you have. Uh, when did you decide to be on TV? Yeah, no. <laughs> when I decide, well, I decide because I, I make radio before. I make radio, and then I make. Do you TV. like TV or radio better? Yes, I, I make uh, a strange TV, a, a, a TV like radio. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's basically saying at the beginning of rock and roll, you know, they didn't have videos, and part of our success at this point is based upon our videos and just generally what we think about them. It's all good. Yeah. We we feel that. Um, videos are, are a part of music now. They're an inescapable part. It's not a separate part anymore. When you make an album, you make videos as well. So we don't think of videos as something that we have to do. We think of something that it just goes with making a record. So we try to put as much energy into the videos as we put into the music because if that's how people are going to judge your music, we don't want people to judge our music poorly because we didn't make a good video. Well, we just made a video for Ava Adore the first single and the next video will probably be for the song perfect but we haven't set, decided for sure.